Hi, this is Janos, this is Real World Audio, and today I'm looking at uh, two questions on void pipes. And the first one is uh, uh, German Jesse, uh, 8233, and he said, Hello, Janos, thank you for your work. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jesse. Uh, I have a question. In your explanations of a void pipe, you consider the lateral projection of the column a triangle. So you can see there that there's the triangle. So when you look at the void pipe from the side, it looks like a triangle. But if we look at the speaker from the front, we see that the side walls are parallel and the re-reflections of the sound wave behave differently. Is this a problem? <sighs> Whenever you have a, like a constant uh, distance between two panels then you will have a certain frequency that corresponds to that distance where the sound waves if that frequency excited then that frequency will be predominant in the resonance of that uh, box or cabinet and uh, and normally in a box cabinet that's such a bad thing because the resonances are not just uh, staying uh, be uh, between two panels but but we uh, or let me see let me just approach it in a in a very different way so in in a box cabinet the big black like, like those behind me so right now we are talking about like here, imagine that this is a void pipe and not just a box. Then in that case, what, what, uh, what he's talking about is the reflections between the left side and the right side. And for the box, it, it is a problem because both of them are squares. And when you have a square shape, the square is really prone to resonances. They, they will start to... Uh, move warp and, and bend around when they are hit by that resonant frequency now the same resonant frequency is hitting the side panels but they are triangles and 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 the amount that they will start to bend and warp and resonate is a tiny fraction compared to the square panels of the regular cabinet so I would say that yes it is a problem because they do resonate somewhat but this problem is like a 10 times less problem than what a, a square cabinet would cause and and uh, and what I recommend because his next question is if he, if yes then how is this problem solved and and the solution is by the design itself that because of the triangles uh, the the sides are are not excited nearly as much as having a square on the side so the triangle is the solution for this as well and if we want to go to more extreme solutions that's uh, really going against a uh, lot of the strength of this uh, design and I would say the main strength of the design is just so easy to build anyone literally anyone can build it as their first loudspeaker project and it will be absolutely phenomenal and if you want to improve just this tiny much this tiny tiny much like even just one percent on this design you will uh, have to sweat blood and tears for that and put in decades into the development and uh, and I, I've seen and heard like a, a gazillion amount of void pipes, and but I haven't heard any that bettered that uh, that that pipe that I originally built, and uh, and that's why I'm do not even thinking about building new uh, pipes to compete with with that cabinet, because it is wasted effort. Can it be done? I think yes probably one could do better but what I want to do with audio how I view audio is I don't see it as as an endless bottomless pit to
put time and effort into. Life is finite and, and we really have to focus on where we put our energies and that is something that you start to see when you have been uh, playing around with audio gear for two decades is to see that how much effort you put into a project and what kind of improvement does it uh, give for you and 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 these type of in things like trying to reinvent the void pipe um, maybe will result in a five ten percent uh, increase with the amount of effort you put in but with that same effort you could do a hundred percent improvement for your amplifiers or your cabling or, or or your sources if you put in that much and uh, and you have to put that in because the system is uh, is is a whole it's a synergistic whole and to have the most out of your speakers what i have found and day one and what i have found even now and this is my 20 years of experience with the void pipe design that the pipe itself has never ever been the achilles heel of the system and if i put in any amount of time any into developing the system elsewhere uh, the the benefits were million fold with the pipe so so my recommendation for for experimenters if you want to actually build a pipe or just thinking about how you can improve one my answer is to improve the pipe you improve the amplifier you improve improve the cabling you you get better driver for your void pipe uh, you and and first and foremost put in the effort into the room itself and uh, that's what i have found that by far the biggest problem is the room and and if you improve the room that will give uh, uh, all the benefits that we are looking for and what that, most of the limitations people ascribe to void pipes uh, they um, they are really solved by these by a proper room proper driver and proper uh, equipment proper amplification and um, let's just continue uh, what happens if you make the side walls of the column at an angle so that the speaker looks like a pyramid on all sides and yes people have built speakers like that and then it stops being a void pipe it becomes uh, how it behaves will be much more similar to how a normal cabinet enclosure behaves so basically you will either have a sealed cabinet or a base reflex cabinet but it's not a void pipe anymore it's not moving a column of air it's it's a moving a, a, a volume of air much like a traditional cabinet and uh, and then what people don't realize is that when you make it a pyramid shape then uh, you drastically uh, change how the driver behaves so the driver that worked in a pipe might, might be and will be probably completely inappropriate for for the pyramid design and uh, there we are just changing so many things that that the difference between having a void pipe and the pyramid pipe i cannot call it pipe it's not a pipe anymore that let's call it a pyramid speaker the difference between them is like between a truck and a boat so when you change your truck to a boat you need a very different engine to drive them and uh, i think i think that's my answer about that and uh, and the other thing is that there are problems with every single loudspeaker design and the problem and the difficulty is that when we are trying to fix a problem we open up a whole plethora of new problems that we haven't had before and 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 i think what, where the genius of a speaker design lies is to have uh, have an optimum balance uh, of the techniques employed to create a balanced design where none of the problems are uh, prohibitive and and throw off the balance of your system 
and uh, of course uh, we can build any kind of loudspeaker and there are systems and rooms which are optimal for that loudspeaker so i'm not saying that the original void pipe will be the best loudspeaker for every single human being on the planet because it definitely will not be uh, especially when one has voiced his uh, system to the uh, sound of the age that we have the the the, the sonic signature of the of this decade uh, having uh, that kind of amplifiers and systems which are optimized for optimized for low efficiency loudspeakers they will not like at all any kind of void pipe in any iteration um, so so if that's what someone's goal to to have a loudspeaker that sounds exactly like a mainstream loudspeaker today and uh, you just uh, maybe want you are a cheapskate and then you want to build it like pay, pay two hundred dollars and get a ten thousand dollar loudspeaker and have it ex and you expect that now you will have the exact same sound that will not work i'm not saying that uh, you uh, or the person who asked this question has this idea in mind i don't think so not at all but a lot of the viewers have that kind of approach to DIY audio that okay I, I saw a design online so um, so what I I have this unreasonable expectation that I, I have uh, I pay in I pay down like uh, five percent of the money that my buddies uh, focal loudspeaker cost and in all every single aspect that cheap ass loudspeaker that I built with my zero skill will sound better in every single respect than my body's focal did and in reality what you can expect that even with that kind of attitude you will have several aspects which will be favorable compared to your body's very expensive uh, loudspeaker that he bought from the store but there will be other aspects where your body's loudspeaker will be better than that uh, speaker that you built with minimal effort minimal knowledge and minimum uh, money investment uh, i think the most important part about the void pipe is that uh, it is the best loudspeaker for those of us who want to get into DIY audio and have something that uh, that is efficient enough and, and loud enough because you have uh, behind me La Grande uh, these, these are something similar but the void pipe the way I built it and, and the drivers I recommend with it have an order of magnitude greater applicability than than the Lagrange does. I, I designed the Lagrange for a very different purpose than the void pipes are uh, designed for. And uh, if you want to think about which one you should build, um, I uh, I cannot. Have, maybe I can make a video on it. <laughs> I probably made a couple already but I don't remember their titles I usually don't plan out my videos at all and I just give a last moment title when I upload them and I forget about the title so if anyone asks me Janos have you ever made a video on that and the answer will be almost 100% yes I've made at least one video or maybe a dozen what's the title I, I don't know those who watch my videos know it much better uh, but uh, if there is an interest about that if, if people are thinking about building pipes uh, or, or building want to build lagrand uh, which one would be the best for you i can remake that video for you um, uh, what i have noticed recently is that there's a lot of uh, people who want to build uh, void pipes nowadays and that's why many questions and and that's why i'm making these videos on the pipes to support all of you who want to build the pipes and and i i really really appreciate your question that that you that you really thought about it and and it's great 
and this is this is why I'm doing this channel to 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 turn turn your thoughts on so that you ask questions because that's how you learn that's how we learn and and also when when I get these questions it also forces me to rethink the things that I have done and I'm doing and and see where are those aspects that where I can improve on things and and just rethink maybe mm, shall I look at this again from a different light because um, or experiences and knowledge always changes and that's true for me uh, I see things a little differently ho from how I saw them a year ago five ten years ago and um, and, and and thank you for uh, being inspired and uh, looking at solutions and and that's that's really uh, my bottom line with with void pipe uh, with void pipes and that uh, they they are a much more robust design than I ever thought when I built my first void pipe at that time I thought oh this is too simple too easy it, it must be very easy to improve on it and no it, it's really hard to improve on it and and it takes so much time to improve on 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 something that works so well that uh, that I would recommend for for most of you to put in that effort into the rest of the system into developing the rest of the system because then you will have a huge, huge uh, order of magnitude leaps when you do that. Because the void pipes, uh, as actually the ones that, that I built, that, that I have shared the plans with, with the drivers I recommend, when you build it exactly like that, it will have just an almost unlimited ability to go and grow with your system it will be able to play with a modest system and sound very pleasing very acceptable very capable with it but don't be fooled that when you hear something that's much better your system that that you need to upgrade everything no all you need to upgrade is most likely your amplification your source and your cabling and the pipes will be able to keep up even with ridiculous changes on your system so if you just put on the highest level electronics on the pipes they will sound like like a brand new speakers like 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 you have upgraded your speakers almost infinitely even though it's just the very same loudspeaker but working with a much better amplification cabling etc so Thank you for for this question. I hope uh, I hope this answer inspired <laughs> uh, some of you to build the pipes and others to uh, to just uh, maybe refocus on where you need to uh, where your energy will be best used, uh, best man. So thank you. Have an awesome day. Bye bye.